Good morning everyone, it's Charles Niatu from Charles N Photography and we're just going down the freeway here, we've been going for about 20 minutes, I'm nearing the Bribey Island exit this morning because we are going to Sandstone Lakes out near Bribey Island, hopefully we'll get some nice photos and I'll share some videos about what the place actually looks like. This is my whole idea of doing videos. Because we often share the photos we take, but some people don't actually get to see what the area looks like. We've been on the road now for about 30 minutes. And we're just about at Sandstone Lakes, near Bribey Island at Ninji, or Ningi. I think it's pronounced. I've been to this spot a couple of times. It's a very nice place to walk around and photograph the wildlife, mainly bird life here. I'll take some photos. I'll also put in the description a link to where you, this lake is. Probably a picture of, with Google Maps showing you what the lake looks like. It's a nice little spot. I'll get my gear out and we'll start walking around. We've just arrived at Sandstone Lake. I was just setting up my gear when some magpie geese just flew overhead. Just had time to get a few photos of them as they were landing. It's a fair walk around here. I'll just go right around. This is the pontoon that you see when you arrive here. Now we're actually going to walk from the pontoon in an anti-clockwise direction. So for most of the morning we'll have the sun behind us, which is the perfect way to, to photograph these birds. Right in front of us here is where a lot of the Australian white ibises and the darters and cormorants nest. This morning we're not going to walk all the way around the lake. Because it's just a little bit too far for me. We'll actually walk all the way to about where those clouds reflect. There's actually some houses behind there. This is about how far as I walk. But I find this is where most of the bird life is. On the other side over there, I've actually seen some robins, yellow robins and all that. In front of us there, I've seen some kingfishers and other interesting birds. And behind here, there's actually we walk through a bit of scrub, tall grass, and this is where all the fairy wrens live. So, without any further, thing, we'll just start walking. So we've just left the, the entrance of Sandstone Lake. Like always from my wildlife walks, I use my Nikon D7500 and my trusty Nikon 200 to 500 f5.6 lens. It's a beautiful wildlife. This is where we normally find the lens. Oh, there was a cook bar just here. I'm just stopping to see if I can actually hear any fairy wrens. Out here in this area, we have the redback fairy wren and the variegated fairy wren. I've only got a couple of shots of the variegated fairy wren in. It's a very shy little bird, especially the males. I can hear some double bar finches.
to our left here. I can actually hear some young. This is where all the Australian egrets breed. I can actually see some Pacific black ducks down in the water here. Swamp hands around. We can actually see some honey eaters up the top there. Blue face honey eaters. And we come over here. It looks like all the nests of the birds were actually. They finished their breeding season now. This place is just loaded with nest. I'll just zoom in a little bit to one you'll actually see. There you go, there's a nest there. And we've actually got a data in the tree. I walk, keep walking. So we'll take some photos and I'll chat with you in a little while. Well we're just about the bottom of the path here before it makes a slight right hand turn. And like I've told you before, I always like to keep a very nice look out on things. To the left, to the right of me and sometimes in the sky. And I was just about to start video recording when I saw four swans just flying through the sky, just about directly on top of me. Just had time to quickly grab my camera, aim, and fire off a couple of shots. And I end up getting a couple of really nice photos of them. So it's quarter past seven, and it's already getting hot and muggy. So I'll probably stop here and just have a small, a quick drink, and keep taking some photos. And we'll see you in a while. Look how beautiful this place is. There's hardly any wind here this morning. We've just got birds everywhere around me. Look at this place. It is so beautiful. There's hardly any wind and we have got birds everywhere around me. So now we've reached the bottom right hand side of the lake and we're going to slowly make our way along the right here, along these trees. There's a path just inside the trees. I tell people I don't rush myself. I'd rather take things very slowly, be as quiet as I can, so that I don't disturb the bird life. And saying that, just before, I'd actually just finished the video, kneeled down to take a drink of water, I could hear some birds, and I kid you not, within two metres of me, I had some honey eaters come down and check me out. And I got some really nice photos of them, which I'll share this spot here is not the easiest place to, f to shoot because we've got the sun on our left. So if there's birds on our left hand side, they'll be silhouetted. So I'm hoping that if I find any birds here, they'll be on my right hand side. So we're just about at the end of the, this straight here at the end of the lake. Of Sandstone Lake. Normally see quite a lot of bird life here, but I didn't see that much. There was a wattle bird that was waiting to eat some nectar off this banks here, and I was just waiting and waiting. And just above me, there was actually a beautiful male scarlet honey eater. 
waited too long and he flew off and I thought bugger missed my chance well the water bird didn't play the game so I started walking and thankfully 10 meters down the track there he is posing for me got a couple of nice shots of it I'll show you a bit what the lake is like on this side and this little tree trunk here tree stump I'm actually going to stop here for a little bit have a drink of water a little snack I've been going for nearly about 40 minutes now so a bit time for a break look at that just picture postcard weather this morning but it is getting very hot look at how beautiful this lake is there's just birds all around me here we're going to continue walking here so we've walked about two-thirds of the way around well, I don't do much selfie videos but might as well start so I've just finished having about a 10 minute break here had a drink, a bit of a snack and look how beautiful this view is behind me eh? this is a very popular spot for, for wildlife so we're about two thirds of the way around the lake just in a little corner here You can see behind me, it's just a fairly open area. The council keeps this area quite clean. So you can see the path behind us here. We're going to walk down there for about 400 metres. And then turn around and slowly walk back to the car again. So this next area here is where we'll most likely see robins yellow robins and so it's Tanstone Lake there seems to be three areas where particular birds hang out the first area where we walk down seems to be where the black fairy wrens and the variegated wrens live the next area we seem to find the rufous fantails sometimes some kingfishers uh, I just saw some scarlet honey eaters there and the third area where we're actually going to start now just which is on the path behind me here where I'll just walk down and give you a view of what the of the path is where I seem to find some robins yellow robins and a couple of other birds so well unfortunately Due to a memory card failure in my mobile phone, the rest of this morning's videos were lost. I'm quite disappointed, as when I was walking along this last part of the trail, I had been able to capture videos of some leaden flycatchers, some rufous fantails, and a grey fantail hunting for insects right in front of me. The leaden flycatchers were the most disappointed as I was able to capture a male leaden flycatcher feeding one of its chicks. So all I can do is just share some of the photos now that I took this morning. Thank you for watching.